the north-south divide of affluence and poverty, of plenty and survival, of economies strong, resilient, and economies weak, defenseless, of countries in control of their destiny and countries very vulnerable, lacking in functional sovereignty. The South epitomizes diversity, countries very small and very large, with natural resources abundant and meager, differences in cultures, political systems and ideologies, differences in structure of economies and level of development. Yet in this diversity there is a basic unity which transcends their differences, a shared identity and common aspirations. And this diversity offers opportunities for cooperation that can benefit all countries of the South, opening new vistas for development based on geographical proximity, relevance of development experience, and availability of complementary natural and financial resources, management, and technical skills. India's experience shows that development, if it has to succeed, has to be self-reliant, self-directed, and people-centered. India has provided more than two billion US dollars worth of technical assistance to developing countries under ITEC and other programs. Science and technology has been at the core of India's development strategy. India has the third largest scientific and technical manpower in the world. From a nation dependent on food imports to feed its people, India is not only self-sufficient in food grain production, it has a substantial reserve. For developing economies with scarce capital, small-scale enterprises are a boon because they require less capital input and the projects can be implemented in shorter time frames. ITEC has been promoting the small-scale industries idea through the National Small Industries Corporation and the Development Commissioner for Small-Scale Industries. Training centers have come up in Mongolia, Mauritius, Trinidad and Tobago and Vietnam and there are ongoing projects in Senegal, Namibia, Guyana and Zimbabwe. India is the second largest producer of milk in the world and at the vanguard of this white revolution is the National Dairy Development Board which has set up a mini dairy at Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan at a cost of 438,000 US dollars. The dairy has a capacity of producing 8,000 liters per day. The entire plant was manufactured in India, skid mounted and airlifted to Kyrgyzstan and installed by Indian engineers in record time. Resources in terms of manpower skills and appropriate technologies gives India a cutting edge. Indeed, the ingenuity displayed by Indian scientists, engineers and technocrats to develop appropriate technologies can only be described as heroic, or we can call it the poor man's industrial revolution. At a time when developing countries are facing increasing pressure from the IMF and the World Bank to downsize and restructure, Combined with a steep decline in ODA flows and growing competition in the global market, the ITEC program will have to be further reinforced. ITEC symbolizes the South's common objective of peace, equity, justice and dignity for all.